How many new agents do we have? Rule number one for new agents. Never raise your hand or admit that you're a new agent. <laughs> Just joking. I want you to own the fact that you're a new agent. Wherever you are in your career, there's always an opportunity or an angle to play. And really at the end of the day, your prospects just want you to be confident. To me, new agents have so much opportunity. If a seller asks you how many properties have you sold, how long have you been in the business, they're not really looking for a number per se. They want to know that you're confident and you're proud of whoever you are. No, I haven't sold anything. And that's why you want me. Because I'm going to turn around when you give me this listing and spend eight hours a day seven days a week on just your deal because that's the only deal I got going on. So if you want to go down to Ricky's office and ask him, he does 100 deals a year, where your deal is going to be on his priority list, I guarantee you it's not going to be number one. New agents have all kinds of time. And as a new agent, you have time to watch the market like a hawk and bring that new market information to the public first, which makes you look like an expert. When I started in real estate, I was 20 years old. So I've been through, I've, going through the same thing anybody thinks they're too young I was 20 years old and everybody thought I was too young but I've always been really curious and I've always really wanted to succeed at high levels took the test got my license thought I'm out of here dad I'm a real estate agent now worked in the office for 30 days sold absolutely zero had to go back to the roof took me eight months to make my first sale I'm on the roof, knowing that I'm going to succeed. A lot of failure, a lot of rejection, and I finally make my first sale. Well, it was my grandmother's condo, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> but I did sell another condo that wasn't my family's. On the same day, I had two closings in one day. So I sold two closings, this is in 2002. Then the market explodes. I make a lot of money. I'm a millionaire at 23. 20 years old to get in real estate by 23, self-made millionaire. But when the market crashed, I was on top of the world, and then the market crashed. I lost everything. My job today, in my mind, is to take the pressure off of you. Take the worry off of you. I don't want you to worry about the market crashing. I don't want you to worry about, am I gonna succeed? I don't want you to worry about fear of calling people or am I gonna sound dumb? Most of the training out there, what you guys, what you guys get, I don't believe that the purpose of a lot of the training is, is what I'm about to say. But this is what most agents get out of it. They see the phone scripts, would you consider selling? What you're doing is you're using it wrong. You're saying it wrong. Your intent's not there. You're not being yourself. And what's happening is, is you're talking to someone who doesn't know you, and you're saying, hey, I don't, you don't know me, I don't know you, but will you sell your house so I can make a commission? And you're saying it in a fashion that tells them that you're just another agent looking for a deal. And they're not interested. What I want you to do is figure out what you can do for them. Reverse it. And that's what I'm teaching. I'm teaching you how to use your personality as your strength.